What's up guys, this is Dennis from SEO bots. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily monitor Amazon product prices using one of our bots. Before I continue, please support our channel by liking this video. And if you would like to see more bot tutorials in the future, go ahead and subscribe to our channel right now. Make sure to browse our collection of ready-made bots and of course, if you're looking for something customized, make sure to visit our custom bots page and submit a request. Okay, now let's go ahead and carry on with price monitoring. First thing that you will need to do is sign up for SEO bots. After that, you'll need to find the Amazon price tracker bot. There it is, Amazon product price monitor. You can of course go through the documentation here to understand how the bot works in detail, but I'm just going to skip that and uh, click the start bot button. Now I found this cool Marvel t-shirt on Amazon and this is the product which price we're going to monitor. So first of all, you'll need to name your job. I'm going to skip the step since it's optional and then I'll need to paste in the product URL. I'll just copy this URL from here and paste it in here. Matter of fact, all we need is this. So we don't need any um, parameters or referral codes, nothing. I'm going to delete all of that. And this is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to keep amazon.com slash DP slash and then the product number or ASIN, I believe, of the product. So now I need to set up the notification conditions. At what point do I want to get notified? Now I have two options here. I can get notified on any price change or I can select the conditions at which I will get a notification. So I'm going to go with notify on any price change, but if you would like, you can go with the second option and say, okay, I'll need, I need to get the notification once the price goes above, I don't know, 20 bucks. By the way, our current price is almost $20, so it's $19.95. I'm going to revert this and keep the notify on any price change option. And now I need to um, select the time settings. So when do I want the bot to run and check the current price of the product? So I can uh, schedule it to run every day, twice a day, once per week, twice a week, whatever. So I'm gonna go with every day at, I don't know, um, 12 p.m and I'm not going to set an expiration date. You can do this if you would like the bot to stop checking the price at a, at a certain point. Um, I'm just going to leave this option as is. And now you will need to set up your notifications. So you have three options at your disposal. You can get an email notification, you can set up Slack notifications, or you can receive your notifications to Telegram. I'm gonna go with send me email notifications. And finally, you have an extra option of receiving a notification even if there was no price change of the product. So basically the bot checks and if the price remained the same, you will still get a notification. If you don't want these notifications of nothing happening, just leave this option unchecked. But some people prefer to get these notifications, so uh, we built this in. Okay, looks like everything um, is ready, and now we can go ahead and click the Start This Bot button. You can see that our job was created and is now running. The first thing the bot will do is it will retrieve the initial price of the product. So it will run once and it will save the price into the database. You can ensure this actually happened by clicking here. And after waiting a few seconds, you will see that the bot stored the current price, which is 19.95. After scrolling down here, you'll see that there's uh, this monitoring log, which stores the last price changes of the product. So you can click here and you can see that May 17, 1137, recorded price 19.95. You can delete this log, but I'm just going to keep it. And the cool, cool thing about this is that you'll get to see the price change uh, graph 
over here and you'll be able to track how much the price of a product changed throughout time. You can also change the job settings right here. So you can set uh, that, let's say you've changed your mind and you want to get notified only when certain price, uh, when the price of a certain product goes above a certain point or falls below it. Um, I'm not going to do any of that. You can also play with your scheduling settings and finally, you can set up the notify on no change option and expiration options here. Now, if you scroll up and you click on the run now button, the bot will ignore the scheduling and will launch the process of checking if the price had changed or not immediately. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll click on run now and you can see that the process had started. And let's just wait a few seconds and see what happened. And actually, let's click this checkbox saying that I want notification on no change. So I get to show you an email. All right, so the process was completed and you can see that the price remained unchanged, of course. And if we go to my inbox, we'll see that I have an email from SEO bot saying that the recorded price of my product is 19.95. Well, this is practically it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Make sure to like this video to support the channel. Subscribe if you would like to see more automation and bot content, and I will see you soon.